Children's Centre reviews are a different way to hold an annual review and they've been used in schools since 2005. A person-centred review has been designed to put the child and the family at the centre of the process and also to engage all the services and individuals that will be useful to help that family and child plan for the future. They build a picture of the kind of life that the young person wants to live after school in terms of work, social life and indeed where they move on to after leaving home and to put that into a format that will help them create a support plan for adult life. We've been talking to some schools about person-centred reviews and many of them have started to use the person-centred review process throughout school. One mum um, talked about the, her, the review process that she's experienced with her daughter and she talks about the old style of reviews and she said she found them really intimidating and she said she always found as though, I think the word she described, described was that she was actually going in battling for a child. She'd always hear really negative things about her daughter. She said the whole meeting seemed to be focused on that. But with the new style reviews, she said it feels a lot more relaxed. She said her daughter, it makes a huge difference to her daughter. Her daughter stays in the reviews and she's actually hearing really positive things. Thank you everybody for coming this afternoon. Really important occasion. We're here for Jordan's Year 9 Person Centred Transition Review. A person centred review really is a way about finding out what's right for the, for the young person. So the, the way that the reviews actually happen is they really start with focusing what's um, important to the young person and what people like and admire about them so they always start with a positive. And you're very thoughtful and you're kind to other people and they were what all your friends said why you make a good friend to them. We first got involved with person-centred reviews uh, as one of two special schools in the local authority that were asked to pilot this new way of working um, at transition. This person-centred approach was a really effective and really important way of sort of confirming the ethos that we were working on which was every single child is valued for what they can do and what they can contribute. After a few reviews we began to realise just what an impact the reviews were having particularly in terms of the preparation work that schools were doing with young people to make sure that they were at the centre of the review, that they were being heard and that the focus of what they wanted and what was important to them now and for the future was at the focus and the centre of the review process and that for us actually began to kind of turn the power around from um, adults who were used to conducting reviews um, to young people's aspirations and listening more to families. Shamil like loves Bee Gees, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. When Shamil's listening to the Bee Gees, what does he do? Sing. 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 Sings. Sings. Does he sing very quietly? Loud. Loud. Very loud. 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 Sings very loud. loud. OK. Loud. So... And if Shamil is fine, he doesn't worry about a thing, and he's very happy to sing loud in front of people, what does that mean? He's very... What is brave. He? Brave. Brave. So going back to one of our pictures, he's very brave. We have quality circle times that our young people uh, look at their like and admire, and we look at their targets as well. So our school targets now, our IEPs, are actually more sort of young people friendly and targets that they want to do. I think the parents now um, are a lot more involved with the reviews. They feel a lot more sort of comfortable coming along to the reviews. They felt it's more relaxed and more open and they felt they've been able to come in and discuss things and it's not just been about educational stuff. What the parents like about it is the fact that we do draw up an action plan um, so they can see a progress and see that change is happening and things are being done and it's not just put away for another year. Everything was form-filled and you'd be sitting in a room feeling rather tense just going through as if you're attending an exam. You know, it was simply, you know, uncomfortable. Um, with the new style of um, person-centred reviews, it's totally different. It's open, the format is a lot better, you've got people involved and you can physically see those people involved, which makes a big difference you have the opportunity of putting everything on board so everything's tangible around you and people responding to that and it's fantastic. The old reviews was just 
he went in a room and he's done this and he's met this target and he's met that target. See you next year. For argument's sake, if, if an head teacher wanted to come to my son's review to see how it was done, I think it, it would be good because I think all schools should be doing it this way because, as I say, you get the child involved and it's not all about negative. There have been a, a lot yeah. of positives that the child can do. Here you have the opportunity of actually discussing what's going to happen to your child going forward and it's phenomenal because that really fills you with confidence that your child's going to do well especially when you you know okay you've got a child who's got a disability and he's not going to do too well as as an ordinary person you've always worried about that but this sort of takes that fear away my principal reservation was really time um, reviews in previous years had been done on one afternoon a week six reviews half an hour bang 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 um, and I think now it's about an hour per review but it's a, a worthwhile process and the the kickback from the parents has been absolutely brilliant the way that they are actually interested in their child's learning they're wanting to help they can see that we're all all the things that we're trying to do for them is for their child well the agencies who get involved in the person-centered review program are usually the same agencies who would have to come to the um, traditional style of statutory annual review but they perhaps approach the review differently everybody's listening from the perspective of the young person and their family and that's the starting point in all of this rather as, uh, as thinking from the agency perspective and what they want to bring to the review. One of the issues that we had to sort of unpick very early on was how we incorporated statutory requirements into a process that is um, less formal um, and is, is very much about the child. The, the way that we managed to do this was A, by working closely with the local authority um, and by agreeing that as part of the what's working and not, what's not working aspect of the review, we would look at the statement then. There's one thing in it that I, I felt, for example, it says that uh, Jordan is experience, experiencing particular mm. difficulties with his use and understanding of language well, I think we've seen today that there's a, a, a big development mm. there, so I think that could come out. When we send the review return, um, part of that actually is, you know, is the statement still appropriate? If not, what changes need to be made? The action plan is a part of that as well. And so our local authority accept the whole sort of package of paperwork as their annual review return, and they have been very supportive. Some of the professionals have said things like, I feel I know this person much better. I've got a much better understanding of their life in school and their life outside of school and how we need to consider planning for the whole person. Um, so they're not just seeing it from their service perspective, but they're seeing it from um, a holistic planning perspective. What we do before we finish is just go around very briefly and say how people have felt the review's gone. First time I've come into a review, review like this, I thought you spoke so well, Jordan. Really has been a great review. Thank you. I think it's been an excellent review. The whole idea of a person-centred review is that it's as holistic as possible. And we've covered Jordan's schoolwork, um, medical issues, his social life, his family life. So I think it's been very successful. And uh, as your dad, I'm very proud as well, especially the way he did your presentation. I enjoyed the meeting and the annual review a lot, especially the cheese and onion crisps. <laughs> <laughs> the highlights for me really are about some of the successful outcomes for the young person and things that have made a difference to their lives. Sometimes very small things that have happened as a result. And we had a review um, here not so long ago where actually a young person needed or wanted to access some after school activities but couldn't do that because of transport but we had a member of staff here who actually lived very near that young person was actually able to drive them home a very small thing that came out of the review um, that made a big difference to that young person so for me that's always the thing that makes it if, if, if it is making a difference to, to them and their lives. 
I think that for schools to make that shift from traditional reviews to person-centred reviews, they need to really think about how they're going to do that. Uh, they need to think about what kind of training they're going to need, which staff that are actually going to be working and doing the reviews, and to really think where they're going to start. You know, whilst we would love to see that schools took that whole school approach, and many schools are doing, I think they really need to decide that starting point and actually make sure that they go and get the right support and training. Mm -hmm. Um, because it isn't just about a set of headings on the wall, it is about really thinking about the way that we work with young people. We learned an enormous amount and we knew that we wanted to actually extend the person-centred review to person-centred approaches across the school. So we did buy in um, uh, some training which we did on a, uh, on a teacher day and we became imbued really with person-centred approaches and we, we began to understand um, that it was not just about a moment in time for a young person's review, it was about the work that we do throughout the year, day after day, week after week. Not only do they know the process of the of the person-centred review, which we do once a year, but it also impacts on everyday school um, life in the classroom. So they're aware of what each pupil thinks works for them in the class, and so therefore their learning can be tailor-made to that child. We had a recent inspection in May actually of this year and they really felt that from an educational perspective and from um, a sort of personal and social behavioural health perspective, the way that we were working with young people um, was actually truly drilling down to what was the most important thing for them. I think we'd only completed about eight person-centred reviews and just seeing the difference between the relationship between parents, school and each of those students was opened my eyes and I thought this is the way forward. If we want to support young people to get the lives that they want in the future, A we need to listen to them, we need to problem solve with the individuals and with their families based on what we think might work and how we can best support them and we need to be aspirational in terms of helping young people get better outcomes, particularly around employment. I would say if there's one message that I could give schools, it would be give it a go and then make your judgement on whether it's worked for you as a school. I'm, the experience I've had so far, I haven't seen one um, school that's actually decided to go back or one that's not got some benefit for themselves as well as the young people and families that they support you can make a huge difference to the school improvements um, agenda and you can really make a difference to the young people in your school. Uh, and also I think if you commit to engaging staff too, it can, it can result in a really cohesive approach um, to teaching and learning and you know, the, the, the sort of overall well-being and development of young people. I think the, the reason that I'm so passionate about person-centred reviews is after supporting people with learning disabilities for over sort of 25 years now, this is the first time that I've really seen them make a difference for people, that people who traditionally wouldn't have been involved in their reviews um, are actually there and present and making decisions about their futures, things that we wouldn't have assumed that people would be able to do before. The empowering sort of way that we do reviews now has actually given young people that confidence to say what they really want. <laughs>